Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I had multiple people over the course of the years request that I do a CCM collection update. So these are not all my CCMs. Um, my 187 scale CCMs are downstairs in the basement in a different display case, but these are all of my 1 to 48 scale, which is, if you're new to diecast collecting, 1 to 48 scale is a larger scale. Um, it's, it's similar to O gauge in model trains. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a brief look at all of my 1 to 48 cat CCMs. Up top is the brand new CAT 6090FS front shovel. It's a truly massive model, which is why it's not in any of the shelves, because it would just break the shelves. All right, starting left to right, we have a 651B scraper, 657B scraper next to him, and then a 657B with a coal body on it. You can see that the all the scrapers have different bodies on them. Uh, 631K. 637K, and then a 637K with the um, coal body on it. Next, we have a 660, which is a tractor pulled scraper, a 16M grader, a 587T pipe lighter, and I believe that's a 583B, if I'm not mistaken, 583B um, track loader. On this shelf, here's the uh, 776 large dump trailer, 988 wheel loader with an 834 um, wheel dozer behind that, and then a CAT 769 off-highway dump truck, which I believe that was the first off-highway dump truck that CAT made, 769. 992B uh, wheel loader. 992B wheel loader with the beadless tires. You'll notice how different that is, and also the uh, bucket is different. Next, you have the next generation of 992s. These are the C variants. 992C regular and 992C beadless tires. I believe the buckets are, sa are the same on these. There's a little bit difference to them, uh, I think, in terms of this is the same as this one, this is the same as this one. So obviously they're different for the machines, but they should be the same bucket. Next we have the uh, 77Gs, 777Gs. This is the off-highway truck, and to the far right is the uh, water tanker, mega water tanker. Taking a break from CCMs for just a second, because I also have some of my uh, 1 to 50 scale trucks up here. On the left, that's a um, Pete. Peterbilt 379 with a Nelson ramp trailer. Here's another Peterbilt with an East Dump with working tarp. And there's a Cat uh, CT660 by Diecast Masters. Next is a Mac Granite with entire uh, liquid asphalt distributor and spray bar on it. Next we have a Kenworth heavy haul tractor. Next is a Freightliner Century class, pulling an east flatbed trailer with a shuttle lift crane and a uh, Moffitt forklift. Next are two east dump trailers, one being pulled by a Peterbilt, the other one being pulled by a Tonkin slash WSI um, Caterpillar CT680. Next we have a, another Pete with a Elliott Fuel and Lube body on it. And a Peterbilt 335 um, rollback or tow truck or flatbed. And he's got a Diecast Master skid steer on it. And finally, we have yet another Peterbilt with a uh, National Crane boom crane on it. He's got one of the CAT uh, CCM uh, 349F excavator buckets on it. Back into CCMs, speaking of, here's a 735B articulated dump truck with working tailgate. Love that model. That's a newer release. As are the D9Gs. There's the push dozer. There's the DD9Gs, the twin, the twin tractor push setup there. And then the last one is just the standard D9G with a multi-shank ripper and blade with a, rip, a 9R rip blade on it. Next to him is a Cat D10, and then a D9L with a push blade on it, D9L 
with a blade and a impact ripper on it. And moving down to the last shelf, we'll start in the back. Cat uh, 385C front shovel, 245 front shovel, 245 standard excavator, 245 mass excavator, 349F, that's the excavator where the other bucket goes. They made two of those. I only have one of them. That's the standard excavator. They also made a mass excavator version of that. Here's the CAT 385. Uh, CAT 6015B. And then the 6020B, which is a massive, huge, awesome model. Up here is a sword slash WSI. It's really, for all intents and purposes, a sword. Uh, Mac Granite with a three-axle Rogers Lowboy. Up front, we have a Ford F-Series, which is part of the Escort set. There's that one with a pole on it. And the other one's back here, pulling a um, construction aeroboard sign. Speaking of, here's another one of those, but this is a simulated light-up board where it says Roadwork Ahead those come with a couple different messages that you can change. And then finally in the middle is another WSI slash sword um, model. It's a Kenworth tractor with a four axle Rogers flip low boy and a Norscott AP655D and a Diecast Masters Cat CB534D XW double drum asphalt compactor. So there you go, guys. I know it took me a while to do this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to see these up close, most of these have been reviewed and showcased in separate videos that have already been done on my channel. So just use that search button and uh, type the name of the model in that you want to see. And there's also plenty of photos and things on my Instagram account as well, at Diecast Emporium, if you're not following that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon.